In this unique recipe, keema or ground meat is cooked together with dill weed that gives it a really unique flavor. Welcome to Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today we're going to be making a really simple keema recipe. This is my keema with dill. Dill in Hindi is also called suiki bhaji. It has a wonderful dill texture and taste in the keema and it's absolutely delicious. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. This special keema is made using dill weed and is also called suiki bhaji in Hindi. The first thing I'm going to do is blanch two tomatoes till the skin split and then I'm going to cool them. In my saucepan, I'm going to add a quarter cup of oil. Next, I'm going to add one and a half cups of onion. This onion is finely diced and it will keep the ground meat nice and moist. I'm going to saute this onion for at least five minutes till it's nice and golden brown. Next, I'm going to add all of the meat. I have two pounds of lean ground meat here. You can use either mutton or beef. And if you don't have lean, it's okay to just use regular ground meat. I'm going to break this up and I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt or salt to taste. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. I'm going to cook this all together for a few minutes. You want to cook off that raw ginger and garlic flavor. Now for some powdered spices. I'm going to add one teaspoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin powder, one teaspoon of garam masala powder, and one teaspoon of coriander powder. I'm going to mix this all together. Put a lid on and I'm going to cook this meat for five minutes. Open up the lid and I'm just going to reduce the heat. Add salt to taste and I'm going to add one cup of peas. Mine are just frozen. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of green chilies that I've chopped finely. You can add these earlier as well. Next, I'm going to add one and a half cups of dill weed that I've just cut. I'm adding a half cup of water and all the tomato that I pureed earlier. This is roughly one and a half cups. Mix this in, cover and cook it for a few minutes. Finally, I'm going to add one cup of coriander and this is ready to serve. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings with Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious and very simple recipe for keema with dill. It's so delicious. I love sopping it up with some rotis. If you love this recipe, do make sure to share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to ring the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. 
And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care and stay safe. Bye.